Hey guys, got a new tool here called Selection Toolbox. Gives you guys a variety of ways to find or select objects in the scene. So to get started here, we have objects and views. So if we have uh, multiple views here to make it more uh, easy to see what's happening, if we go down here on the bottom right and click objects and view, you'll see um, it's going to select everything that we see from this vantage point in our viewport. This is useful for hiding stuff that maybe isn't needed for a render. Uh, we also have objects not in view, so it's going to essentially select the inverse of that. So you'll see up here, the section that we see in the viewport in the bottom right is not selected up here in the top view. Next, we have objects with a material, so that'll find everything in the scene that has a material applied to it. You can also do the inverse of that. We have instances of selected objects. So if we select one of these boxes here, which if we go into the modify panel, you'll see it has the instance bold font that you normally would see. If we click instances of selected, it'll find all the instances of that object in the scene and select them. Now, if you have multiple objects that are both uh, instances of other objects, you can um, select those and then click this button and it'll select multiple uh, instances. Next, we have objects by class. So when you select this, it'll open a dialog that shows you all the object classes in the scene and how many instances of those are in the scene. You can select multiple and hit OK and it'll select those all in the file or you can simply just double click and it'll select those uh, for you as well. We have one for super classes which you can see is a top level object class or node class I should say. We have the modifiers so it'll find all the modifiers used in the scene and then it'll go through and show you how many times that modifier was found and in instance count. So we'll go ahead and select this and you see it selects all the objects that have the chamfer modifier applied to them. We have modifier names for those who do like to name their modifiers with custom names. This uh, allows you to find those real quickly in the scene. So find all of our turbo smooths. We have material classes. This is useful if you're setting up renders where you know, it might not have shaders that are compatible with the render. In this case, we have an Arnold shader, and this file in particular is for V-Ray. So we could quickly select that and go replace that shader. And then same thing, we have material names. Find all the materials in the scene. You can search within this dialog as well. Just don't want to forget to mention that. And then we have wire color. The default is uh, a tolerance of 10, and that's a hue shift, uh, left or right. So if we select this middle one, this middle color here, and do select, it's going to select about 10% of the color range. Now if we select one of them again, and let's do maybe 50 this time, it will select 50% uh, of this whole bar because of the color shift, or color tolerance, I should say. And if we did 100, it would select all of them. Now a nice thing is, this does support uh, multiple object selections as well, so it'll get the 20% in this range and the 20% in this range. So you can see how that can be really useful. And then lastly, we have a find and select in your file. So you can uh, search any of these named fields. If you select this, and we'll just do a wildcard search, and then hit select, it's gonna select all the teapots in the scene. You can use regex for those familiar with regex, also known as regular expression. You can turn this on and it's going to interpret this search field as regex. So the sample you see here is the parentheses uh, backslash D plus. That's going to select anything the scene that ends with a trailing number. That can be useful. You can look up regex online and find multiple options. And lastly, you have this option here, which finds within the current selection. So if you turn this on, it's going to restrict your search to look only within the selected objects. So yeah, that's it for the selection toolbox. If you guys have any feedback or questions or additional features you'd like me to add, feel free to reach out and thanks.